All right, I know you've all heard the news. Dylan Gabriel will be back in 2023. I'm stoked. I hope you are too. And I'm explaining why I'm excited about it and kind of what it means for us soon as going forward. Let's talk about it here coming up in about 10 seconds. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports. Thank you all for tuning into the channel. Let's talk about Dylan Gabriel making his valiant return for the 2023 season and what that really means for this team going forward. And so before we do that, you know the drill. Jump into the comments and let me know. What's your thoughts on Dylan Gabriel coming back? You high on him? You low on him? Love to hear your opinions. And I understand that we're about a 60-40 ratio out there. People high on Dylan Gabriel, who's a low on Dylan Gabriel. I will explain, explain why DG is critical to what we're doing going forward. And if you're new to the channel, hit that like, subscribe, and the bell notification. We're talking a lot of college football around here, and we would love to have you part of this community as we are growing. We're talking a lot of OU football. We're talking Colorado football and college football in general over time. So, Join the family and share. Why? Because sharing is caring. So Dylan Gable returns. Let's talk about how he did this year and then let's dive into what it means going forward. So first off, how did Dylan Gabriel do this season? These are the numbers. When I look at this, 3,168 yards, 25 touchdowns, only six interceptions. And honestly, five of those came in the last five games of the season, including the bowl game, mainly Baylor. He had three picks in that game, and that was a a nail biter for all of us and a gear grinder because we should have really won that game. Uh, Just like in a lot of these other one possession games, we should have won. But outside of that, it's neither here nor there. He had a solid season. I think the one thing that jumped out to me too here is these numbers here of him running for 315 yards. That's a career high with six touchdowns. So to be honest, Dylan can scoot. The man's got the ability to run. And I would like to see more of that from Dylan Gabriel going forward. That is the thing that I'm crossing my fingers and toes to see more of in the future. And him coming back this year, I think that means that. And let me explain why. This is why Dylan Gabriel coming back is such a big deal, especially for me. A Twitter user mentioned this to me named Chad, and I thought this was chef's kiss. It was point on point, very solid, and think about it. And he basically said that Dylan Gabriel coming back means that we'll see a lot more runs in, in the run pass options from the quarterback, mainly because we actually have depth, something that we did not have before. Now, not to really knock anybody what we had going behind us, but Levy did not utilize the QB run very often because based upon the practices and everything that they have, they realized what they were missing. They realized that they didn't truly have depth that could run an RPO offense and be successful if Dylan Gabriel goes down. And then we witnessed that after the TCU game, he got hurt halfway through and then going into the Texas game, unfortunately, which was 49 to zero. And so because of that, we didn't get to see a lot of it, but Dylan Gabriel can scoot. I mean, 315 yards is pretty good for a quarterback. He even had 70 yards against Baylor, nine carries, 70 yards, and a tutty. So he was out there moving, and I think he can do that more if there was confidence in what was behind him. And I think that's where we're going to see something different because who's behind him now? Jackson Arnold. I mean, we'll probably see some general booty as well. Um, I'm not sure about Michael Bowens. I haven't heard much about him playing, and I think there's a reason why we didn't see him this year. So if that's they do have Jackson Arnold coming in here in the spring, and we'll be able to see him in spring ball and see him in action and get an understanding of what he's going to be going forward. So because of that, that's why I think it's key for Dylan Gable being back. We'll be able to see more in run pass options on the in that game, and we'll also be able to see him mentor and show some leadership and help the growth path of Jackson Arnold because Jackson is the future along with the quarterbacks coming behind him. But Jackson Arnold is the one we're expecting to be a starter for at least two years, if not three. And then we expect him to go to the league afterwards. So since that's the case... That's the thing that's really important about Dylan Gabriel coming back, which is why I'm excited because I like stability, especially at the quarterback position is one of the hardest things to get in college football. Honestly, in the NFL, go look at them. They're struggling to find stable quarterbacks that can survive the league long term. And in college football, it's becoming more and more of a problem. It's hard to find quarterbacks that can be world beaters. There's not very many of them. And unfortunately we didn't have one this past season, but I think we'll have one coming next year. So, 
with that, jump in the comments. Let your boy know how you feel about this. Dylan Gabriel coming back. Um, also, some other news coming down the pipeline. An offensive lineman's in town. Matt Lee, he dropped a pin saying that he is in town. The University of Central Florida lineman I talked about in a couple videos ago. He's in town. He's in Norman right now. And Dylan Gabriel kind of gave the look of, yeah, I'm trying to get him to stick around too because, you know, it'd be nice to have some additional linemen. I would love to have additional linemen too. So hop in the comments, let your boy know. Thank you all for tuning in. As usual, we're going to keep growing. We're at 70, what, 7,200 subs so far. Goals to get to 8,000 by the end of the month. Share, tell your friends, spread the word. Let's make the magic happen. I'm going to have a membership set up coming up at the end of the month. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to do and what do I want to dedicate time to. But I'm going to make sure I dedicate some time to you all as the viewers. Thank you all for tuning in. Chop it up with you in a few hours. Thank you.